I just saw that this place is prone to flooding. The river was starting to overflow a little bit its banks and here at the skinny pancake with Danny here. What's he doing, mama? We're on the hunt for more fall foliage here in Vermont before we head back to the west coast. The fall colors, even in the rain, give me this feeling of comfort in a world where challenges are thrown at us to make us uncomfortable. This I know for sure, being uncomfortable can fill us with anxiety, with uncertainty, and maybe even fear. But the uncomfortable is what invites us to do better, be better, and grow. While in the moment I may not like the uncertainty and I might have anxiety, I always look for what this invitation of uncertainty is teaching me. What new and positive story can I create out of this growth for myself? This is how I choose to view the things in life that are thrown at me and it allows me to become a better version of myself. Even this fall foliage is ever changing. It's shocked with the weather changes and it must conform to its very nature in order to survive. It brings me peace and it brings me comfort. Well, we're in Morrisville, Vermont. Been in Vermont for a little bit. Super cute here. Lots of cute little back roads. Well, we made it over here to Stowe, Vermont in this cute little place. But I just saw that this place is prone to flooding. And so I don't think we want to stay here because it's supposed to rain for the next three days, including tonight. And I just saw where a watermark was super high. Definitely going to be hitting the top of the roof if it does flood. So since they give us warning signs and told us where the flooding was just in 2019, which was pretty much over the roof of my van, um, I think I'm going to find another spot. So recreation path. It's all kinds of trails over here. Oh, we've got the cute bridge. Come on, girl. Look at that tree. No leaves, but she sure is pretty. She's really pretty. She's so pretty. I just have to touch her. Just amazing. Before we continue with the video, I want to introduce you to this video's sponsor, which is Skillshare. I've not painted in about 25 years, but it's so therapeutic to me and I really, really enjoy it. It relaxes me and it just fills me up with so much joy to like mix all the paints and stuff up and make all these different colors. And I'm more of an abstract artist, if you will, but my skills were very, very rusty. So what did I do? I went to Skillshare. I wasn't even sure if Skillshare had classes for painting, but I logged on and I searched for abstract painting and there's tons of stuff on artistic mediums like abstract painting. There is this one class on Skillshare from Claire Bremner on how to paint an abstract painting inspired by nature, which was really right up my alley. I could have watched Claire for days with what she's teaching on various paint strokes, composition, building up layers in depth, and palette knife painting, which by the way is one of my favorite ways to paint. 
I was so inspired by her and I can't wait to put some of her techniques into practice and maybe even paint a little bit as I watch her class. I really find that it's easier to learn that way. Skillshare has so many incredible classes for creators like photography, videography, painting. There's so much more, but I bet you'll find the classes you're looking for with the thousands of classes that Skillshare offers. If you'd like to learn more about painting or other artistic endeavors, then head over to Skillshare by clicking the link in the description box. And since they're sponsoring today's video, the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description box is gonna get a one month free trial to Skillshare, ads free, thousands of classes to choose from. And after that, it's super, super cheap. So make sure you click that link in the description box and get started. Well, this place is certainly packed, holy cow really packed but boy is it cute i wonder if it's like this all the time or if this is just because people are here for the fall foliage Sweetheart. <laughs> What's going on here, girl? It's cold out. I know. You slept with your jacket on last night. It was so chilly. Come on, Lily. Do you want to eat? It's time for breakfast. <laughs> you being lazy, girl. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come. Let's eat. Lily, come. Come, come on. You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, <laughs> more belly rubs, okay. Yes, oh, stretch those legs. Does that feel good? Three, here we go. Well, good morning there. It is a very rainy day today. 
But nevertheless, I wanted to get out and take a walk because it is so beautiful here in Stowe, Vermont. And the fall foliage next to the river is just incredible. Oh, it's just amazing, even in the rain. So I have this video here of me walking in the rain um, up on my channel, my other channel that I created. If you don't know about that, click up here <laughs> that way. <laughs> click up there so you can uh, take a look at it. But all it is is like rain ambience, forest ambience, ASMR stuff to help you relax, go to sleep. That's one of the reasons I did it because I have a hard time going to sleep sometimes and listening to ambience and rain and things like that really helps to relax me. So it can de-stress you, it can help you go to sleep, it can help with insomnia, it can help reduce stress. It's early, early in the morning and I'm on my way to Burlington, Vermont from Stowe. Um, I was gonna hang out here in Stowe for a little bit, but it has been raining the entire time and it is a muddy mess, which leads me to what happened last night. I had to move from my beautiful site by the river over to Sun and Ski Resort is the name of it. The river was starting to overflow a little bit its banks and there are signs everywhere that say that there can be flooding in different areas around this town. And so I was concerned because the river was really raging and it has been raining nonstop for several days now. So um, it took me a long time to find this place last night because this place is really tight around here in Stowe. It's a smaller town, it's a little ski resort, quite frankly. Um, I was afraid that they would probably kick me out, but they didn't, thankfully. Anyways, all right, we're headed to Burlington now. All right, let's see where I pulled into last night. I'm telling you, it was so dark I couldn't see anything. I was parked right there. It was all muddy and sloshy. My feet were sopping wet. <laughs> it's never a dull moment. I didn't really get to see much of the town, like walking around it, because it's just like I said, it was so busy the day I arrived and then raining. all of the fog surrounding the mountains. I think it's a really beautiful sight. It reminds me of when I used to live in Mount Vernon, Washington. We had all that fog around the mountains in the early mornings. Oh, it's so beautiful. I tell you, I love Vermont. And Stowe, Vermont is amazing. I love it there. Love it. It's so cute and it's got that small town feel that I really love. However, it has snow, <laughs> which I don't love. I don't hate snow, I just don't really like driving it or dealing with it. Welcome to Burlington, Vermont. It's a much larger city than Stowe for sure. We're in the University District area right now, headed to Echo Science Center, at least the parking lot for that. Um, we're meeting a subscriber, her name is Danny. It's just too bad it's been rainy. Hopefully it'll stop so we can walk around and kind of explore a little bit. Reserved. 
We're over here in the parking lot of Burlington. And we're by the waterfront. So we're supposed to meet Danny over here at the Echo Science Center. And go to this restaurant called The Skinny Pancake. I don't know, it's pretty packed, so we'll see if we actually get in over there. Really, you smelling all kinds of smells? So we're here at the Skinny Pancake with Danny here. Danny's a long time subscriber, I think. <laughs> we're just gonna say that she is. <laughs> And we waited, how long were you in line for this place? Probably 40 minutes, and now we have a second line in order to order. Yeah, and there's bees out here as well, imagine that. And we don't even have our maple syrup yet. <laughs> we don't. They're in anticipation, they're like, we know. We oh, are they around here? Oh, there's one. Oh, goodness. Okay, no bees, right. we don't want you around us. I think if we just leave them alone, they'll leave us alone, right? All right, so what do we have here? This is called the Skinny Pancake, which is short for grapes. And then we have sweet and savory, and then we have your typical breakfast all day, some hamburgers, should be good. So you can eat inside if you are allergic to bees or if you don't want to be around them, but I really didn't want to be inside because of you know what. Just trying to be careful. But this place is gorgeous. All right guys, here we have our lumberjack crepe with, what is it, ham? Ham and cabbage cheddar cheese. That's right, ham and cheddar cheese, and of course, we had to have fries. What is this right here? This is a pesto mayo. Oh, I've never had pesto mayo. I'm excited for that one. And then a little salad and some apples, and you got the lumberjack too, I think, I right? I did, yeah. yeah. We're so these? Soak some maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have to do maple syrup on it. All right, I gotta see this. You can't come to Vermont without maple syrup. <laughs> It is getting close to sunset, so I thought I'd go ahead and take a walk over here with Miss Lily. So this is the Burlington Waterfront Boardwalk. You can see they've got some nice bike paths and cool walking path. Food and drink. Very, very cute. Danny said that right over there you could see the Adirondacks, which you can't see right now because it's so foggy out. Lily, what you think, girl? Come on. She smells all kinds of smells. Come on, girl. Let's go. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> Look at these cool swings they have. You can just hang out here. Oh, this one looks a little dry. Come on, Lily, let's get up. What'd you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. What's he doing, Mama? Oh, you like this, huh? It's a little chilly, though. Even with your jacket on. Even when it's hazy outside and what people would say is gloomy weather. It's not so bad. I mean, it's cool outside. It's a little bit humid. Got my jacket on, as you can see, especially just in case it rains. You okay, girl? I got you, baby. Yeah, but oh, it's like beautiful, beautiful fall weather. I love it. Love it, love it. This reminds me definitely of Washington this way. Can she me or no? Yeah, okay. She's puppy, oh, so she's jumpy. <laughs> that's all right. Hi. What's her name? Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Yeah. That's Lily. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chloe, you're so cute. <laughs> Chloe's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Bye. Come on, Lily. 
So I thought Ethan Allen was only about furniture, but apparently not. This ferry over here takes you on a scenic tour around Lake Champlain, and it's called The Spirit of Ethan Allen. I stand corrected. It's the Spirit of Ethan Allen the Third. It's Lake Champlain out here. I was there in 2017 when I did my scenic byway. This is the Echo Science Center, which it's not open, it looks to be under construction. But we've got Mr. Moose here. I actually really love science centers. I've been to quite a few of them across the US. So I totally wish I could go into that one. But it looks a little bit under construction and can't go in.